Hello friends, Shepard Humphreys here with another little speed auctioneering tip. Let's do a little bit of counting and let's do it in a specific way. You're going to start this out slowly and build up in time to a faster speed. Don't follow exactly what I do. Add your own little words, your little filler words. Make it your own. One and a quarter and a half and seventy-five make it a two. Two and a half make it a three. Three and a quarter and a half and seventy-five make it a four. Four and a half make it a five. Five and a quarter and a half and seventy-five make it a six and a half. Six and a half make it a seven. Seven and a quarter and a half and seventy-five make it an eight and a quarter and a half and a seventy-five and I'm making a nine. Nine and a quarter and a half and a seventy-five and I'm making a ten. And continue that, either going by halves or quarter, or quarter, half, and 75. Make it A, give me A. Put all those filler words in. Practice that until you're really fast. And I'm going to speed this video up and make it look like I'm talking a lot faster. Hey, I'm going to talk a lot right now, and it's more about the tone of voice that I use and a little bit of sing-songy going on. It doesn't really matter so much what I'm saying at this point. I'm just kind of making fun, and I'm having fun. Oh, I'm having so much fun, 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 fun. And you just kind of goof around like that a lot, and before you know it, it's going to come more natural to you. Speaking of which, it's a good way to learn Spanish. Just kind of make fun of the person you know that has the thickest accent. Find somebody that just... It has the thickest accent you can think of, and, you know, of course, so it makes sure he's okay with it. And imitate it. Would you like it to have one time some, you know, and you talk like this, and before you know it, when you're actually speaking Spanish, you're going to have a lot of native Spanish speakers saying, wow, you have a really good accent. And it's all from goofing around and having fun. So, whether you're learning Spanish or learning to auctioneer, have fun with it. Make fun of it, and then when you're ready to go for real, it's just going to come natural and be smooth, and it's still going to be fun. Thanks for listening. And remember, you're having fun with this. If you really want to be an auctioneer, do it professionally, uh, start your own auction house, have employees, uh, get paid to do auctions, it's a good idea to go to a school. Don't listen to everybody here on the Internet that just is telling you how to be a talk, fa uh, a talk faster. There we go. There's a slip. Uh, because if you just do that, you know, you're great to do some benefits, have some fun with it, impress some friends. Uh, but just a good reminder, if you're going to do it seriously, take it seriously and get some good training from a good school. Talk faster. Talk faster. Talk faster.